Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit evaluate each record in reports with row level formulas from the project evaluate report data with formulas. So the concept that we are going to take up here will be of row level formulas. We'll be seeing how we can create them and use them in our lightning reports. And the use case that we have is the USA Majors Head of Sales Operations wants to see how many days each individual opportunity is taking to close the deal. So for this use case, we'll be using the concept of role level formula. So role level formulas let you evaluate each record in a report and provide record specific answers. So we'll see this in action. So what you have to do is you have to launch your Trailhead Playground and create an opportunity report. So let's just go to your app launcher now search here for reports we are going to create a new report and the object will be opportunities start report is go to filters or directly select this option all times to filter out the close date of all time so our records will be visible the next thing is we have to save our report so copy this report name from the unit click on save I'm keeping the folder as private reports because it's not mentioned in the challenge of which folder we have to use. If you want, you can change. I'm keeping it as it is. Click on save. Now, next is we have to add, add the row level formula. The column name will be time to close. So let's just copy this, go back here in the column section, select this drop down, select add row level formula, name it time to close. Let's copy the description as well, which is time to close in days. So output type will be number. Now, the formula that we are going to cover here is based on the concept that when that opportunity was created and the date on which it was closed. So the difference between these two values or these two fields will give us the number of days an opportunity is taking to close the deal. So this is what we are going to do here. Now let's just add the fields, close date, select this, click on insert, add the subtract sign. Now here we have to first use the functions and select date, select date value function, insert it. In the expression, we are going to put out the created date. So search for it and click on insert again. So we are subtracting created date from close date. Now, why we have used this date value function for our created date? Because the created date data type is date time, whereas close date date has data type date. So we cannot subtract two different data types to get one common answer in order to, to convert created date, date time, data type into date, we have used date value. So this date value function simply fetches the date part from a date time field or date time value. So this is what we are doing here. Just click on validate to check the syntax. There are no syntax errors. You just click on apply. Now, I missed one point. So for that, you have to go back to your time to close row level formula. So here we missed one point, which is go to this edit formula. And for the decimal point, make it zero. Click on apply again. We are getting the negative value. Why is it so? Let's see. Uh, the close date is 20. 25 of August 2014, whereas created date is of this year, 28th of August. So that's why this is coming as negative, but all in all, our concept is clear and what we are doing here in this challenge is clear. So let's just save and run this report. Nothing else we have to do, just save and run. That's all, uh, let's just go back here to see whether we have passed this challenge. There you go, this unit is completed. Hope you learned some new concepts through this video. See you in the next video with another unit of module. Till then, take care. Thank you so much.